name's Steve Cowley. I'm the uh, Chief Executive of the UK's Atomic Energy Authority. I've spent my life trying to make fusion energy work. My laboratory, which is called Cullum, hosts the only machine in the world at the moment that can actually make any significant amount of fusion energy. It's called JET. JET is, um, is a tokamak. And tokamak is a magnetic bottle in which you contain fusion fuel, which is two kinds of hydrogen. Heavy hydrogen, which is called deuterium, and super heavy hydrogen, which is called tritium. And if you fuse them together, you make helium and release lots and lots of energy. So to get them together, one way to do that is to have them move around at great speed and collide. In order for them to move fast enough to do that, they have to be moving at about a thousand kilometers a second which means that they're incredibly hot. The magnetic bottle holds your fusion fuel in the form of a plasma, and its typical temperature is about 200 million degrees. How do you hold something at 200 million degrees? It's going to melt the walls or it's going to get cold. We have the fusion fuel held within walls, inside walls, inside walls, inside walls. And right at the middle, it'll be about 200 million degrees, and the magnetic field wraps around your fusion fuel as though it were a sort of knitting wool wound around it and holds it in place um, and holds it off the walls so it doesn't touch the walls. And that gradient in the temperature of the fusion fuel causes it to bubble. The fusion fuel in the form of a plasma, it bubbles and twirls and works its way out. Now, if it's bigger, it takes longer to work its way out. And so you can get to higher temperatures and hold it there for longer if you make a bigger device. The world is embarking on a very interesting experiment. It's called ITER. It's an experiment to make the first fusion burn because we've been able to do some fusion in JET, 16 million watts of fusion. But we had to be poor in energy to keep it at 230 million degrees. What ITER's going to do is it's going to cause enough fusion to happen that it will keep itself hot. It's like lighting a fire, and we've never done that. I have a job where I run a large organization at the moment. Um, but at the end of every day, from about four in the afternoon onwards, I work on physics. And it's still the most fun thing you can do with your time, is to think about physics. Fusion is very important for the world, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I just do it because it's fun. Working on fusion could be one of the most rewarding things you could do with your life. Because sometime in the future, our world is going to be powered by fusion reactors. And we need a new generation of people who understand these problems to take this forward and make it a reality.